Stop it! Stop it! Brad, he's going crazy. Do you see? Crazy. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Noodles. <laughs> this is Noodles. And Diesel. This is Diesel. <laughs> Background. He's taking a nap. He just ran around outside. Now he's tired. Say hi, Dito. Say hi. Oh, he's so happy. Happy boy. In my last several videos, I had been putting on makeup. And today, I just wasn't feeling it. So today, you're blessed with all my skin textures. <laughs> What is he's being a baby? Um, so are you done? You done now? All right, so I wanted to show you guys kind of like the vibe of the inspiration for this thrift trip. This is Ariel McKenna, she has a YouTube channel, and this is her Instagram handle, Barf Brain. But she dresses very skater, masculine, but also subversive basics. Sometimes she dresses a little feminine, but I really love everything about the outfits she puts together. She wears a lot of colorful, unique shoes and pants. Her accessories are always really unique and well thought out for each outfit very cool then there's Kate Brock and Twinelle they both have YouTube channels as well Kate wears a lot of low-waisted jeans and I think I'm finally ready to give them a shot we're gonna try um, they both also wear a lot of cargo pants cargo skirts car cargo shorts anything with cargo <laughs> um, and Twinelle I really like her use of textures and patterns I feel like she mixes and matches very well and it's ways in ways I wouldn't have thought to do myself. So I kind of want to go out of my comfort zone, maybe with textures, maybe. Now I'm going to show you guys what I didn't end up getting. This first top, I feel like I should have gotten, but I think I just had too much stuff, so I ended up putting it back. I really like the idea of a shirt with a hoodie because then you could layer it under a baggy tee and you'd have like the hoodie and the sleeve sticking out without a lot of bulkiness. This pair of pants I think was the wrong wash. I got these cargos maybe to dye them. Um, I got a lot of pairs of pants, <laughs> basically, and most of them look like they probably weren't gonna fit, so I didn't end up getting them. I really liked this newsprint top, but it was just a little awkward when I tried it on. The shorts, I wasn't sure they were gonna fit me. This hoodie kind of smelled funky. And then this top was a little big as well. 
Oh, I liked that it, it looked like it had like a cello or a bass on it. And then the striped hoodie I put back. Oh yeah, thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. That is really awesome. And I appreciate that making YouTube videos really has been a good creative outlet for me. Uh, on to the thrift haul, why you're here. Sorry about all the rambling. And I found a lot of good stuff. I was really surprised. I was there for three hours. Three hours. My friend Liz told me that the best time to go thrifting is right when they open. So today the thrift store opened at nine and I went at 10. I think ideally I would have been there at nine, but I didn't wake up early enough. The first thing I got is what I'm wearing. I wanted to like, dive into like the very like gaudy y2k graphics and i found this one and it's like a three quarter sleeve and it has like a little slit on the sleeves it's like a stretchy almost mesh but not quite if you know what i mean and it's just really flattering like it really gives me an hourglass which i don't have so i was like and it was three dollars for three dollars, like, that's pretty good. Um, bless you. The dressing rooms at this thrift store are closed and it makes me so sad because I'm the type of person that I'll bring a hundred things to the fitting room and only walk out with two. Like the way things fit makes such a difference. I got some jeans and I should have worn, I knew, I knew I should have worn biker shorts or brought a measuring tape, but I didn't. I didn't do those things. So I found a extension cord, an extension cord in the electronic section and I measured my waist and then I held it up to the pants. Bruh, anyways. Um, so they, they fit around the waist, they do. Uh, well, the first, my jeans do anyways. So the first ones I got are these Y2K for sure, DKNY jeans, size two. And they're low waisted. I wasn't sure if they were gonna be low waisted like on the hanger, but as soon as I went to put them on and I saw how small the zipper is, it's like two inches. So I guess if you wanna know if jeans are low waisted or high waisted, look at the zipper because like what? Anyways, um, yeah, I know these are from the 2000s because they have this like little denim belt detailing. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's, it's different. And these are originally $8, but I got them for half off because blue was half off. So I got them for $4, not bad for a pair of jeans. And I figured if they didn't fit, then I could probably sell them on Depop just because they are authentic Y2K. Um, in the back, they have the little embroidery and they have these pockets. I don't know how I feel about these pockets. Definitely not made for your modern day smartphone. Probably made for like a Blackberry. <laughs> um, the reason I picked them specifically was because they have this like extra seam on the side and I thought that would be a really nice touch. I was kind of inspired by the Melody 90s jeans. I think that's what they're called or Brielle from Brandy. And these fit so good. They're a little long, but like other than that, they fit great, which I was really excited about. Um, this one does have a leather label, a little and a flower and a heart, that's cute. And then the inside is painted. They did have some with like the vintage like sewn on tag. It'll probably be in like the montage of stuff I didn't get. But yeah, these are a size three. I'm normally a size like one, two, but I figured because these are from an earlier time that the sizing was different and they say boot cut. And then this is what the pockets look like on the back. That's pretty cool, I like the detailing. And then it's that same kind of wash. I don't know how to describe the way that looks, but yeah. And then they have a little flare at the bottom. 
These fit more like the ones you see people wearing online. But they're a bit more tight and I'm not really used to wearing things that aren't like baggy. Like I wear like Jinko jean baggy. Like that's how baggy I like my pants. Speaking of baggy, I got these cargos. I really wanted a pair of cargos that, that weren't blue jeans. But I came across these in the little boy section. And I don't really know what my size is in like kids anymore. I fit into a boys 14 for a really long time in high school. But now since I've gained weight, I wasn't sure if I'd be a boy 16 or 18. So I just went with an 18. I was like, I'm gonna be 21. Like it would be sad if I was wearing the 16. So I got these 18, but these are 18 Husky, which I didn't really take into account, but I figured I could maybe downsize the waist if I need to. I got them because they have the cargo pockets here. And I don't know if you can tell by like the leg size, but I mean, these are baggy. They're pretty baggy. So that's why I chose them. They are Faded Glory. It says Faded Glory Vintage. I don't know what that means. Like were these made in the 90s trying to be vintage or were they made now trying to be vintage? Like what, is, what does that mean? He wants to show you his ball. In my eyes, you could never have too many flannels. The first one I got, and I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's black and brown. Lately, I've really been loving those colors together. It's brand new. It has the original tags. Nobody ever wore it. That's so sad. Anyways, moving on. Um, the last flannel I got, I know, is this black one. And it's by like the Walmart brand, George. And it's a size small. I don't know if it's a men's. It might be a men's. Why it has one very similar to this. It might even be the same one. Um, and I really like the way it looks on him. And he'll pair it with like his tan khakis. And I just think that's such a good look. So I might, I might just copy him with my new tan cargos. And then like a little black top and then this unbuttoned open would look so cute the last top i got two dollars i was like you you can never have too many thermals i feel like i thought it'd be a good layering piece like to layer underneath a t-shirt or in the winter in a year so yeah that's cool so i ended up getting the filas even though i feel like we're so tired of seeing these shoes. These were so popular in 2019, the year I graduated, and I had just gotten some, and I loved them so much. And then I wore them to a Google concert, and I got out of the concert, and they were covered in like pink goop. I don't even know, what the heck, who had pink goop at a concert? But yeah, it was all over my shoe and I couldn't clean it off. And so I had to throw them away. And then I found these in my size. And I've been wanting some like chunky shoes. And so, you know what? I was like, for the price, like I'm gonna get them. So I got them. Cool. There was so many pairs of these at my thrift store. Like everybody is so tired of their filas. They all donated them all at once. There was like five pairs. And then the other pair of shoe I got were these Nikes. I've thrifted a pair of Nikes before, but as I've gained weight, my foot has like kind of swelled. So they don't fit me be quite the same. They're just like your generic running shoe. I thought these would be good if I do anything active, like if I go on a hike. Ariel wears a lot of like colorful sneakers, which I think looks so good with their outfits. Like it really is that nice like thought out touch that really elevates the outfit. Like the shirt matches the shoes and the jacket matches the shoes, the purse matches the shoes. And I only wear white shoes, as you can tell. Um, I mean, I have a black and white pair. I'll wear that one sometimes when I wear a black outfit, but um, I thought I saw these. And I figured this would be my version of like a colorful sneaker. Um, they are Vans and they have like a really weird bottom. I don't know how to explain. Can you see that? It's like 
really weird sole. I've never seen anything like these. But I thought they would look really cool with this shirt here that I'm wearing. They don't quite match in this lighting, but I swear in other lightings, they match. <laughs>